he writes the Bible to whatever he feels like saying, and he admits it. Here's what he says. Remember the warnings in Revelation chapter 22. Here's what he says. Call it nerve, call it passion to connect, call it poetic license, whatever. The main question is, do the words get in the way of the story? If so, either change them or insist everyone goes to evening class on religious speak. Imagine writing something like that and claiming to be a Christian. And uh, by the way, Rob Lacey died a few years ago. 2006 is when he died. So he knows better now. But let's look over here at something else which I thought was very frightening that he would write this. The Jesus Liberation Movement, the church, what Jesus started. Like it or loathe it, it's God's chosen community of expressing slash representing himself. Don't ask me why. Now, the Jesus Liberation Movement, the real one, uh, is actually a terrorist organization in Africa, and it's here in America as well. And this is a DVD about this man here, Charles Van Wyck, was a missionary in South Africa, and this guy uh, came in, he's a member of the Liberation Theology, the Liberation Movement, and he came in and attacked Charles Van Wyck's church and ended up killing a lot of people. Charles Van Wyck actually shot back at the man and injured him, and this guy went to jail for a little while, not for very long, and Charles Van Wyck actually had a chance to witness to the man. Phenomenal story, very, very interesting about why Christians should carry pistols and guns for defense. Um, he's not a pacifist. He's a uh, good man. But anyhow, black liberation theology. You'll see, if you study this thing, you'll see they have, they're into this black Christ thing. Jesus is not dying on the cross for sins. He's dying as a rebel, as a renegade, as you see here. He's a black Christ, and he hangs on the cross with bandoliers of bullets around him, and he's into killing white people. Why would, why would Rob Lacey use the, those terms, the Jesus liberation movement? Pretty ridiculous. Okay, now I want to talk about the newest of the perversions, uh, Bible magazines. I want to show you some of this stuff in a little bit more detail. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have the first one. This is for children. You know, lures them in with that nice shiny wording there. And I'm going to cover these in more detail on our website uh, for sake of time. But look down here. Going global. Remember, they're trying to build a new world order, a new global order where all governments, all countries come together. All religions, you'll see them using those terms, global this, global that. Okay, but if you're not interested in that, if you're not a, a child, this is a, by the way, a uh, international children Bible. I guess that's supposed to be the version. And it's made by Thomas Nelson, which is also, they publish a lot of Catholic books. But if, you aren't, if you're not into that, then you can go with this one. Revolve 2009 for young women, and it's all how to conform to the world, what, what guys want, you know, and, and everything, how to look like the world and act like the world and talk like the world, and it's all it is. It's worldly. Okay, that's a new century version. And then you have this one here, the uh, Divine Health, New King James Version. And this thing, you'll see this in these Bible zines a lot. There's this weird, ah, come on, can't get the page here. There's this weird preoccupation with sex. Okay, man's need for sex. And you, and you read about that a lot in these things. Okay, so, you know, why is that such a big issue? 
you know, they're, they're pushing this thing. It's crazy. And then for teenage guys, you have uh, Refuel down here, Hot Movies, Music, and Reads. You know, don't, don't worry about telling them, you know, I'll set no wicked thing before mine eyes. Don't, don't warn them about movies, all hot movies, you know, and music, of course, too. And you got the kid there with the uh, rock and roll guitar. Don't worry, warn them about that either. Don't warn them that uh, rock and roll came from voodoo and Santeria, and the pagans were the ones that came up with it. But now what they'll do in these Bible zines, almost all of them do this. They will... Uh, put these calendars in what you know suggest what you should do look at there watch the passion of the Christ the Roman Catholic movie by Mel Gibson that presents the one-eyed Christ okay and they go down through here you go it's Mariah Carey's birthday so you pray for lost people that don't want anything to do with Jesus Christ by the way Jesus said he didn't pray for the world okay and, and what, what happens if a young man looks at that and he says, well, who's Mariah Carey? Well, he has to find out. See? Pretty wicked. And again, you know, you're not, it's not that you get the Bible and you conform to it. Oh, no. Now the Bible conforms to you. You know, a young man wouldn't be interested in this one. That's for young women. So you get this one. See? Pretty ridiculous. How about explore? Why is God so awesome? <laughs> yeah. And again, another calendar. Uh, you have uh, celebrate Black History Month. Research Malcolm X up here. Mm-hmm. Ah. Need better bookmarks here, I think. Here you have rock solid and the lightning bolt study the occult that's a symbol of the occult okay not a symbol of Jesus Christ or something else Jesus is the rock no no that's rock as in rock and roll you know, you, Harry Potter has the lightning bolt on his forehead and everything here you have a kid talking about rap he likes rap and his father doesn't. And they just say, well, you should obey your father and that's why you shouldn't listen to him. Respectfully ask if you could listen to Christian hip-hop. There's no such thing as Christian hip-hop. There's worldly compromise. Okay, Rap is not a style of music that Christians should listen to. I'm going to get into more on that in just a little bit. My grandpa says that money is the root of all evil. Is he exaggerating just a little? He's quoting just a part of 1 Timothy 6.10 from an older version of the Bible. So there they have, they'll turn kids against their grandparents who use a King James Version. Real nice, real classy. Okay, <clears throat> and finally, does the Bible say the future is going to be good or bad? Both. It's going to get a lot worse and then it's going to get better than anything you could imagine. There is going to be a time called the Tribulation when awful things will happen all over the world, especially to Christians. <laughs> uh, no, the Christians are called out before the tribulation, before the time of Jacob's trouble. This is actually not even scriptural. There is great tribulation, but the term the tribulation is not in there. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. It's for the Jews to be brought back in line. Okay, the Christians are taken out. The body of Christ is removed before the tribulation. Okay, but Jesus will return to reign on earth. <clears throat> then everybody will be judged before God, and those who faithfully follow Jesus will be rewarded with eternal life. Uh, again, well, more, more error there. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll look at this one. Oops. <clears throat> Becoming. And here you have, you know, another woman. How to dress like the world, how to look like the world, yeah. <clears throat> and again, a calendar, and you have, uh, today is Katie Kirk's birthday. How about down here? It's Oprah Winfrey's birthday. Yay! The woman who hates Christians, Bible-believing Christians. She's a New Ager, okay? And she hates Jesus Christ. She hates Christians. 
pretty ridiculous. And again, you can see how many of these bookmarks I have in here. I can't cover it all in this video. I'll do it on our website, kingjamesvideoministries.com. Another one for uh, baby boomers. If you're into the motorcycle thing, you know, this would, this would appeal to you. Again, another ridiculous one. 